Hi there, in this video I'll show you how to create a branding intro for your YouTube videos using Camtasia 2020. I'll show you how you can customise one of Camtasia's pre-installed library intros, how you can download additional intros, and I'll show you some more advanced customizations that will make your intro truly unique to your channel, similar to this. Okay, a simple little intro, but you don't want to make it too long or people will simply stop watching. It needs to be around three to five seconds, just long enough to introduce your brand to your viewers. Let's face it, your intro isn't why they're watching your video. Okay, so to create the intro, let's click on Library. And we'll select the Camtasia 2020 Library. And you can see there you've got intros, you've got outros, you've got lower thirds. I'll talk about those in other videos later on. But for this one, we're interested in the intros and there's a number of them you can select from. So I'm gonna pick this simple bright title three. So I'll just get that and I'll drag it down onto my track at the bottom there. I'm just gonna make that a little bit larger there. And I'll click play so we can see how that looks. So you can see your title here, so that could be the title of your YouTube channel and then your tagline underneath that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that back into about the middle there and I'm gonna change the title and the subtitle. So I'll put in there, I'll put unprecedented profits and then for the subtitle, I'll put the tagline I use on my YouTube channel, which is make money online in unprecedented times. And I'm going to change the color of the rectangles to be blue. It doesn't really look like it stands out that prominently. So I'm going to change the font and I shall make that bold. So that looks OK. Uh, stick with the white on that one. And then for the tagline, again, I shall make that bold. I'm going to take that down to 50 and I shall change the color of that to white. Let's see how that looks now. Okay, so it's taken about six seconds, so I could probably reduce that time in the middle if I wanted to, but I won't show you on, on this one because I've got another one lined up, and on that one I'll change the time length for it. That looks okay like that. So what I want to do now is I want to show how that would then link into your actual video. Let's see, I'll pull up a video. Let me pull this video in here. It just flips from one over to the other. So what I want to do is I'm going to go for an animation effect on the actual video. I'm going to go for a scale up. So I should drag that onto there. Put that at the start. And then by clicking at the beginning of that, I'm going to say it starts from 1%. And then I don't want 125, I want it 100%. You'll see there that as the text part on the intro then the, the video comes in. Let's play that now. I'll start it from halfway through the intro. And there we see the video comes in nicely as that disappears. Okay so that was that was one. That one's different from the actual intro I've set up for my site. So I'll show you how to do the one for my site. So I'm gonna I'll leave the video there but I'm gonna delete the intro. And I shall go back to library and you can see down here you've got download more assets. So I'm going to click on that. So now on the TechSmith uh, website, so TechSmith are the people who created Camtasia. And you can see there we can have different intros. So you've got some that are free, some that are premium. The premium ones are available as part of subscription. So if I just click on one of those. If you buy a subscription. I'm in the UK, so that's £188.89. pence. And that equates to 199 US dollars. Okay, so no intention of actually buying one of these. So what I'll do now is I'll just I'll clear the premium ones away. So we just see the, the free ones. So I'll apply that. And here we've got a number of different free ones. So if you hover over the thumbnail, it will show you what the intro looks like. There's just a few of them. So you can choose which one you want. I'm just going to go for this first one and I shall then hit download. Once it's finished downloading, I shall just double click on the file. And if I jump back to Camtasia, you can see it's there waiting to import. So I'll click on import. You see now that we now have the big swipes intro there. So I'll pull that one down. Pull it down onto my track one. And we'll have a look to see how that one looks. So again, I don't think it looks the greatest like that, but I'm going to go through and make a few changes now and make it into the intro that you saw at the beginning. Now this one doesn't have a subtitle, so I'm just going to put unprecedented profits into the title. 
And again, I shall make that bold. Let's just fast forward it through there so we can see how that's looking. And now what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom here and you see the little plus sign on there. So this enables me to actually modify more of the actual intro itself. First of all, change this green, the bit where it says green shutter. So if we come back a little bit further, so we're hovering over that bit, you see there we've got the green shutter. I want to change those to be blue. And the other one. Okay, I'll close that one down again. Now these bits here are the grey colour bits, so I want to make that more of a lighter blue. So change that to light blue, and I'm then just going to highlight that. Control C to copy that, and then I shall go down to the other one. Click on there, and Control V to paste it, and that's the both bits there. Now I don't actually like this blurred effect around the outside, so I'm going to I'm just going to go and take that off. So that's called lens shadow here. I'm going to take that out and get rid of that. And here, if we just come forward a bit, so again, so you always use the timeline bit here. So you're actually on the part of the intro that you want to change. So I now fast forwarded to that one and then I can change the fill color. And again, I've still got it in my copy. So I control V and I paste that blue into there as well. And now you can actually change the way that that text is as well. If we go on to the big swipes bit there, and I'm now clicking on the actual text. And you can see here at the top, you can actually change the font. So I can now make the font size bigger. So I'm going to make that a slight bit bigger there. And now if we're clicking on these three boxes, go three little boxes going down here, they're behavior properties. And you can actually change the in part of it. So that's when the text is coming into the screen. The bit where it stays there in the, in the middle, and then the bit as it leaves the screen again. First of all, I'll go on the in. So I shall keep that at shifting in. The text there, I'm going to change that to simultaneous. So all the all the letters are coming at the same time. So let's we just see what that looks like. So that they're all coming in at the same time. Instead of having spring, I'm going to ease it in. And I'm going to use a sine curve. It just changes slightly the way they come in. The best thing to do on these is just to play around and then use your slider going backwards and forwards so you can see how the effect changes with the different with the different settings. I'm going to leave speed the same. So then I'll go on to the the during part. At the moment there's no style on there, but I'm going to actually change that to be pulsate. And I shall pulsate it and left to right, I'll leave it at that, and I'll keep that at both ends. So yeah, I'll leave the rest of that the same. And then on the out. I'm going to keep that as drop, left to right, and I shall, instead of going out through the bottom, I'm going to change it to go to the left, and I'll just speed that up a little bit to 95. So again, we're, so as you come forward there, as it go, you can see the pulsating there on the during bit, and then the text is going to go out to the left hand side. Okay, so let's have a quick look and see how that looks in play now. A little bit of pulse, and then the text moves out, and the other bit comes in. Close that bit down. Now, as I said, the time's slightly too long. It's about six minutes, so I want to shorten that a bit. And you have to be careful when you're shortening these. So let's open that big swipes again. Click on that one. To just do this, I'm just going to move that part of the window up a bit so I can see these all nicely. What I want to do is the text, I want to change that so that finishes off earlier. And then I can bring this in. So I'm going to take that into, say, f let's see that, how that looks now. So you see there, the text goes out quicker. And it fades away. So I can actually reduce that a bit further. I might have done it too much now, but we'll see. I'm going to do profits. So I can bring, I can bring that up to track three. As the text disappears, the video then comes in. I've still got it fading in there, so I want to take that off because that's from the previous intro, if you remember. So I shall just delete that. And now that's gone down to 1% for all of it, so I want to change that to 100%. It's going to fade in now rather than. Move that forward a little bit. 
So I actually want that to, because it's fading in, I want to have that above it. So that as it's going, it fades in with the video. So the video needs to be lower on the timeline than the actual intro. So let's see how that looks now then. And play. You might want to add a sound onto it as well. Um, I've got a little intro sound already lined up. So I should go onto my media and down to my audio. And I'm just going to pull this down. And this is actually large, longer the file than what I want. I'm going to do that. Just to click the music track there. So I do, I'm on Windows, so I just do an S there to, to split the track, delete that first bit. I then want to do the same later on, get rid of the end bit. I should pull this forward. And I only want it to be as long, the same length as the intro. So I'm just going to put it in shorter. Click on that and do audio effects. And what I'm going to do is just then fade that track out. I'll just move that along there so it just fades out towards the end of the track. Let's see how that all looks together now then. So as I say, it's probably a little bit short now. I will go through and fiddle with it to get the desired effect, but I don't think there's much value in me going through fiddling with it um, while I'm on the video here. Obviously you can do that, get it exactly how you want it when you're, when you're doing it for your own videos. Okay, I hope you find that useful. If you did, please give a like to the video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because I'm going to be showing other Camtasia videos in the future. So look forward to showing those to you.